storms move out of Hamilton, we still have some more coming for you. But generally in this vicinity of Barrie, where we did see a tornado touchdown and damage homes, that is cleared out for you, thankfully. Let's take a look at the roads with Chrissy Van. And Chrissy, from what I understand, you've got some hail out there and around Hamilton. Yes, it's really been a treacherous drive, and unfortunately, the conditions, it moves through so quickly, so your drive can literally change in an instant. So your best bet, if you're feeling unsafe, pull over to the side because visibility becomes very poor quite quickly. I'm going to show you some of the situations that we're dealing with on the roads, all in causing delays. And in addition to that, some flooding on the tracks. Pretty much all your GO Transit routes do have delays, so just... Keep safety top at mind. That's the main ingredient as well. We're going to be keeping an eye on the Alberta situation for you. But the best thing for your drive, download the Beat the Traffic app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. Take it with you. But the biggest advice, Gary, right now, I think, is if you don't have to go out, stay home. Excellent advice. All right, we've seen, we've seen a lot of calls from our Stormline callers. I want to thank everyone for calling in, but just remember to stay safe. If you have any warnings, it's usually the best idea to be indoors. Let's take a look at our roads with Chrissy Van. And Chrissy, how's it looking out there? I imagine a lot of people going pretty slow on the heavy routes. For sure, Nicole. It's certainly been a challenging drive. And in addition to that, for those taking GO Transit, multiple delays. I know on the Barry line, there were reports of flooding on the tracks as well as a downed tree earlier. And in addition to that, even though we've seen a lot of those storms move through, you even compared to what we were seeing 10 minutes ago. Of course, for the latest updates on the GO, you can always take along the Beat the Traffic app. That's available on iTunes and Google Play. And Gary, I know you have the latest updates on what we're seeing move through on the radar. Well, you alluded to it, Chrissy. All right, that's from Mark Robinson earlier today. We've seen a lot of power outages across Ontario, at least 30,000 people in the dark. So if you have power at this point, get the flashlights ready just in case, because we still have some strong winds in the area. But right now, let's head to our Beat the Traffic Center. And Chrissy Van, how are the roads looking at this point? Well, Nicole, even though the bulk of the storm has passed through, the dangers on the road still present. As you mentioned, power outages, you will want to treat those traffic lights that are affected as a four-way stop. That's not the only issue we're seeing on in-town roads, though, of course. So conditions improving, dangers on the road, though, still out there. So your better bet, sit back, relax, stay indoors. Now, for the latest on how this system is looking, I'll hand it over to you, Gary. All right, thank you very much, Chrissy. Yes. Let's take a look at the roads right now with Chrissy Van. Thanks so much, Nicole. And I want to touch on, actually, some of the things that you were mentioning, talking about the power outages. Well, that's still a risk on the roads as traffic lights still out in many areas. Treat them as a four-way stop. Then, of course, all the debris as well. There are multiple closures throughout the GTA and flood watches in effect. So those details coming up. But, of course, you can always check in with your Beat the Traffic app. That's available on iTunes and Google Play. And now for the current situation, I'll hand it over to you, Gary. We are going to take a look at the right roads right now in our Beat the Traffic Center with Chrissy Van. Thanks so much, Nicole. And of course, with you saying a lot of people flashing back to the flooding that occurred last year. I know it's on people's minds. I mean, there were multiple road closures, washouts as well. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on that. Now, looking at the roads right now, of course, Edmonton, you're getting quite a break in regards to the rain, falling debris from the high winds that were seen there. So really could be a messy situation on the roads still as you're traveling in the GTA. And of course, Gary, still problems that we are being quite prepared for in southern Alberta. That's right. We're going to take a look at the roads right now in our Beat the Traffic Center. We've got Chrissy Van out there. Uh, Chrissy, what can you tell us about what's going on? Well, Nicole, as we all know, throughout the rush hour, conditions throughout the GTA were treacherous, literally changing in a matter of moments. Now, what we're seeing now, let's start with the good news. First of all, volume-wise, things have really quieted down. Your map here. So we'll get that update. Right now, we're going to check in with Chrissy Van and our Beat the Traffic Center. Chrissy, how are the roads looking out there across southern Ontario? Well, the good news is things have certainly quieted down, but crews are still working incredibly hard to make the roads safe for you. We do have multiple closures, specifically in town. This is for areas like Lethbridge County, Pincher Creek, where there is that flood watch in effect. So for the latest details, take along your Beat the Traffic app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. This will be your last look at live traffic this evening, but Tom will be in tomorrow morning to get you through the drive. And Gary, what can we expect? Oh, well, more of the same, unfortunately, Chrissy, and thank you.